One of the really interesting things about this area is that when people think of where World War II came home to the United States, they think of Pearl Harbor and the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, but really the place that it came most consistently to the United States was along the Outer Banks and along the East Coast, and people aren't really aware of that. We were just so isolated, it was very easy to, to keep this a secret here. And these people were told, don't talk about it, don't write about it, and, and uh, they were good soldiers and, and they followed the rules. When the United States entered the war, a lot of the sort of naval threat was perceived to be in the Pacific Ocean, so the bulk of the U.S. fleet was, was designated to operate in the Pacific, which left uh, the East Coast largely unprotected. The U-boats had quite an advantage where they weren't really resisted initially until the United States had such a time that they could build up fleet forces for a two-ocean war. One of the main reasons for targeting Cape Hatteras is because of the shipping lanes and the Gulf Stream primarily. If you have merchant vessels that are running you know, from south to north, they're trying their best to stay in the Gulf Stream because it's, it's an underwater highway. It'll actually you know, give you a few knots of speed. Hatteras was far enough south and in the middle of two major Navy and military installations. I guess the Germans considered it was an area they could operate close to the coast and not be so close to a, a military installation. It became a good spot for U-boats to hunt because of the way that the continental shelf comes so close to shore. The shipping lanes were still going over the shelf, but the U-boats could get out uh, into deeper water to hide, which was their primary defense. So for these reasons, the, uh, the U-boats kind of really preferred to hunt in this area. During the war years, uh, we could hear the explosions when, particularly tankers, when they were torpedoed, you could hear those explosions. And uh, we'd go over to the beach, and one Sunday we went out, and actually uh, at that particular Sunday, there were three tankers burning at one time out there, all within sight of the beach. You could see the, in some cases, the flames, others you could see the, just the black smoke rising. My aunts told me about climbing up on the roof of the house that I inherited at night and watching the ships burn, see the glow of the ships, the people would hear them, the windows would rattle, they'd see the light, the fires, and they would actually begin to have, you know, kind of like little prayer meetings and concerns and things. And, and even, the, even the people that were retired Coast Guardmen at the time or, or the local people would go to the beach, maybe patrol the beaches and look for survivors and things. Everybody helped. 